Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm a little later this morning, I kind of slept in, had a busy day yesterday, and I was exhausted. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised at the response I've got on my video that was labeled just Filipina. I've had a lot of good comments and a lot of comments that, you know, people had concerns about. And I understand that. No. Not everybody has the same experience that I have. I don't expect them to. <clears throat> it's not going to happen. Everybody's going to be different. That's just part of life. I know there's a question about Filipinos choosing corners, regardless of what they look like. Fat, bald, alcoholics, bad attitudes, why they choose them. Well, if you look at it, most of them, you know, I've had the comments, you know, they want to get out of property. That's true. But not in all cases. It's not just because they want out of poverty. They, the ones that are lucky enough to go to school, see a lot of their friends not complete school. And they become single moms. Which leaves an impression on some of them, they're scared of the Filipino. They don't want to be in that same situation, struggling to keep a baby, feeding it, clothing it, and so forth. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong, there's some good Filipinos that makes good dads work hard for their families. I see that too, even young Filipinos. And uh, they actually work hard at it and actually raise themselves out of poverty. But it takes determination from both of them. But that's uh, one of the reasons that you'll see why they choose foreigners. And it doesn't make sense, you know, an old guy with a young Filipino. Now, another issue is, it's not an issue, Filipino, Filipinas or um, I'm trying to think of the right terminology um, they desire the romance and for us guys that um, are not uh, afraid to show our emotions they lock onto it and they love it they like being paid attention to. They like the uh, being cuddled, as they say. They like the attention. And they get very emotional, very easy. That's another thing, you know, I've seen you know, a lot of Filipinas. And even my wife, she'd get emotional. No, there's there's a lot of cases out there, you know, that it doesn't work out the same. You know. Yeah, some some guys end up building houses and so forth and then getting dumped or pushed out in different cases. I've I've seen that also. It happens. And it makes a negative attitude towards a lot of Filipinos from us foreigners. Now, to offset that, if you pay attention, <laughs> my word of advice in those situations, if you're concerned about it, 
Don't invest more than you're willing to walk away from. Pretty simple. Don't worry what you know what you can afford to walk away from. Personally, I built a house, bought property. I actually got uh, two pieces of property. As a foreigner, you cannot own property here in the Philippines. So, where does that leave me? Well, if Grace was to get rid of me today, it'd leave me with nothing. Am I afraid that will happen? No. After 14 years? No. <laughs> uh, but that's not true in all cases. Again, don't invest more than you're willing to walk away from. That's not hard to understand, is it? Now, with that said, what are the rewards for an old guy like me? Well, it depends what you consider a reward. Now, I don't look at Grace as a trophy. No. She is my partner in life. Now, some foreigners view it differently. They, they think because they're an old guy and they got a young little female, they, they get this chip on their block. And I, you know, I feel kind of sorry for them because they're missing out on a lot. Now, I live life good. I enjoy grace and you know, the uh, things we get to do together. You know, just like yesterday, we was out and about, and uh, she wanted to treat one of her friends for their birthday, and. It was a cheap experience, and the other thing too, you know, guys, you can do a lot of things here cheaply. And if you got a good Filipino, she will find ways to make things happen at a very minimum cost. They had a great time, and we spent a total probably fifty dollars yesterday. And it was a group, counting the kids, of nine people. We ate well, we enjoyed things, we enjoyed the beauty that the island has to offer. I live on their grove if, you want, if you're curious. For $50. That includes gasoline. Now, yeah. is that being taken advantage of? I don't see it that way. No. I had a great day, yeah. You know, with the lives and the laughs, the you know, lives. <laughs> uh, you have to look over me early in the morning, you know, I get tongue tied and so forth. But back to the subject there, you know. That's, a, you know, that's a, a lot of reasons why they choose expats, you know. Is because they they still embedded in them. They they like the romance. They like getting flowers. They like the being cuddled on and the attention. And they they do develop a very strong bond. Now another thing that would uh, be a negative for me is jealousy. I made it uh, a thing before Grace and I even met and when we were doing our chatting online long distance relationship you might say that jealousy was a thing that I just I couldn't tolerate. Not that I'd be out here chasing women. It's just the fact, you know, I like to be comfortable. If I'm looking at Filipinos, they're, they are absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. And you can't help from looking. I'm sorry. And I didn't want to be miserable just because I look. And I made that plain and simple. 
but as you can see, I, I live very good and I'm happy. Um, and as far as taking care of the family, now what's wrong with that? They live in absolute poverty. Now I don't do a lot for them. I just make sure they don't go hungry. Now I did do something that I felt like it was necessary. I did make sure that she had three sisters and made sure they got to graduate high school. I supported them through school. And once they got through school, that was the end of it. They're on their own. One of them is actually living in the U.S. and Missouri. Working and doing quite well. Her baby sister is living in Cebu, working and doing quite well. And she does have one sister that's not made the, the jump to, to do well, but, but she's, doing, she's still on her own. Uh, she's doing well in her. In my view, no, she's not a single mom. That's the big thing. But that was my goal. <clears throat> No, they are very family oriented. You know, the Philippines, they don't have a, uh, a good retirement resource, even though they do have Social Security. But it, it pays so small, it's not really a benefit. Uh, Grace has got her grandmother. It lives close by. We make sure she has food. Now she's 78 year old. And she's been. Uh, her husband. She's a widower. Passed away many years ago. When Grace was very young. And you know. <coughs> she never remarried. Or anything in that category. And she's managed on her own. I admire the woman for that. Now she does have kids that have helped along the way. And they still do. And we do our small thing, you know, I make sure she has water and electricity for something she's never had in her lifetime. I actually uh, did it for her. Yeah. That's a big expense, electricity. She has lights. <laughs> the reason I did that, as she's getting older, I was worried her carrying those kerosene lanterns around, the lights or little containers with kerosene, I'm afraid she's going to burn her house down. So, I made sure she had lighting. How much that cost me a month? Maybe two dollars at the most. Yeah. Basically, she's got two lights. And that's it. Yeah. Her parents. I've actually. Uh, they live here. I have um, downstairs underneath our deck here. I have built them a room. Uh, which they live in. They've got their own kitchen and their own water. Of course, you know, they use our electricity, which is, again, a minimum. But they, they, they take care of themselves, basically, other than I provide a roof over their head, which is not a big deal. You know, I enjoy living here so much and I get so much in return. I couldn't do this in no form or fashion if I still live in the States. Because the expense of living alone was overwhelming. Even then, uh, before I came here, I was... 
you know, I'd go to the grocery store and I had to be very, very careful with what I purchased. Because I didn't have enough money in my pocket to pay for it. And I was getting just enough money, just enough, to keep from getting any what you government assistance. You know, that was a hard life to live. I come here, of course, it's changed a lot since I've come here. It's, everything has increased over time, which is normal because it's been 14 years. Well, actually, almost 15 years if, since I lived alone. And that's one of the things that I don't miss is going to the grocery store and worrying about checking out with my groceries. You know, yeah, we watch what we spend, or Grace does. She's very conservative. If she hadn't been conservative, if she was wasteful and so forth, we wouldn't have this house. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have the properties. Now, she's still sleeping, by the way. And I say this with the utmost confidence. I don't worry about Grace dumping me in leaving me stranded and so forth. Now, not everybody gets that fortunate. Uh, and I know that. And I understand why people think, well, they just want foreigners to get out of poverty. In a lot of cases, that's true. And there are cases where they just want to be the, the focal point. They want to be, as I say, they want to experience love. They want to experience the uh, a family life. The bonding. And they don't want to have the fear of being left as a single mom. Now that's something you'll see here in a lot of cases. Speaking of single moms, that's something that needs to be brought to attention. I'd like to do a video on that in the near future. Something that uh, my, I will give my personal opinion on. But I'll do that in another video. But folks, by all means, Enjoy your life and have a positive attitude. Um, research, research, research. Can't say that enough. Watch all the videos that you possibly can. Because my opinion alone is not enough. Uh, that would be uh, giving you bad advice. Don't want to do that. But go out there and be happy. That's that's my goal. I want to appreciate everybody that has subscribed, and and all the comments I've got. I really appreciate them all, and thank you so very much. And if you don't mind, subscribe. <laughs>